my success blueprint. I'm really excited to have you here today. My name is Niklas and hey, I'm happy that you're watching this video. I'm going to talk to you about how you can start your first print on demand store. In this particular video, I'm going to be setting up things with you, um, you know, together. We're going to follow the steps on how to set up the store, actually, right, on WordPress. And of course, together with Printful, right? And of course, in the next videos, I will show you how you can optimize your store and get the best you know out of it right how you can sell better how you can set up your ads right i'll show you everything until earning and i'm going to experiment with you using my own store so i'll show you the results as i am setting them up right now i'm at a stage of actually setting things up but as we go along i will show you the results that come from this store right hey if you love content on financial freedom and you like to work anywhere doing what you love to do then subscribe to this channel right now don't miss a second and of course click the notifications bell because you don't want to miss any videos on financial freedom my friend right so wherever you are whoever you are get yourself ready so we can set up this store right and like i always say setting up the store is not the most important thing you must remember why you're setting up the store is to actually you know make sales you want to make money right so very 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 important when you remember that then sales are the most important thing so if you struggle if you're non-techy then don't waste your time you know trying to figure out how to beautify my store and how to do all of these kind of things outsource it outsource give it to someone else to do it right but if you're techy and you know about wordpress and then you know about all of these kind of things then follow me through this tutorial you will be able to set up your store right it's easy actually easy but if you've never seen a wordpress platform and you're seeing it for the very first time then it might become challenging then i've got our options for you if you want to outsource it so check the link in the description for an agency a company that can actually help you to set up your store at minimal cost you know in just one or two days turnaround time and you will be really 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 on the road to run right so very very important so let's dive right into um this video all right so welcome again to um this tutorial on how to set up your print on demand store uh could be your first one could be your you know you've tried out things and you've done some stuff and you you're a bit techy so this is the tutorial for you you will be able to get through this pretty quickly with most of these um the tools actually free right and of course you can decide to uh, to pay for some of the things like the page builder that we are going to use in this in this tutorial so this is pretty basic um it's easy to create as you can see this is exactly what we are going to create and we've created this for our brand you know where we sell where we promote our prints right so this is one of one of them and it's it's pretty decent but we used a template to build it nothing special you know one thing that you gotta remember when doing a print on demand and doing most of um online business don't spend much time in setting up things if you're not techy be honest with yourself give it to someone to do it right give it to somebody to do it for you and focus on the sales and i understand that's a little bit of a cost but if you're short then you can probably produce you know have um work out some money somehow or then you can follow this tutorial to the end to the t and it will show you but otherwise i've put a link in the description to an agency that you can contact in order to get this actually done for you even better to your customizations or specifications it's all entirely up to you but if you want to follow um to create this then this is going to be really really easy um especially if you know you know some bits of wordpress you will find this really easy so let's jump right into creating this right so um we've added so far one product to this and if you have a look at all products and the other products are, are, are going to be added we are just testing the quality to see what printful is actually offering you know so so we don't uh, fall in to get into problems with the clients so as you can see this is seize the moment t-shirt and it has a, a little you know kind of logo there but it's it's pretty basic you know these are kind of uh, motivational designs that we are 
uh, we are promoting with this website. So it's pretty simple. So we are going to build exactly this in record time, right? So we're going to do it in a very, very short time. And hopefully you will find this tutorial helpful. So uh, first things first, what we need to do is to, you know, there are things that you need to look at the costs of the project. And I've worked out this could cost you about $174.77 if you do it within this time when prices haven't really changed especially hosting prices i'm using hosting from name hero and you can check them out they are pretty cool right you can check out name hero now i'm gonna sign out <clears throat> you can check out name hero they are pretty cool they are easy to use uh, they are really organized, right? So, and all you gotta do is, uh, I will go back to the main, go to web hosting, and find yourself a package. Now, working out from here, I worked out $113, $114 for a year. So, if you choose, you know, this, and of course with more RAM, which is about 3 GP, which is actually what you want, you're going to get visitors remember you're going to run traffic to this store so you're going to get visitors and that means you will be able to you know you 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 need a working memory and the other thing that the other tool that you will require is elementor right now elementor is a page builder you know you're going to see exactly what i'm talking about and you can find all links in the description every link that i have mentioned or that i will mention will be in the description so you can click you know these are affiliate links actually most of them are so when you purchase i earn a small commission right so uh, feel free to use these links or feel free to use your own if you 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 know or if you have other affiliate links feel free to use anything but just get your store running so again when you get back to um when you go to um name uh, elementor you can see the initial plan is about 49 per year and that's for one site and that's all you need really if you're going to do this uh it's just about 49 dollars and of course the other is canva which is a free tool but this time you will need some of the uh, paid features of canva so i definitely uh, suggest that you get the pro which is about 12 dollars per month right you can get it for one month set yourself up and then proceed with the rest of you know you can cancel at any time really so having said that having gone over the tools that we need we also we will use a free theme which is cadence theme and that's really free it's really a, an amazing theme and you can download it from cadence right um you can get it from cadence wp.com right so you can download that theme right here it's it's quite easy to use it's really lightweight which is why i chose it right so it's pretty amazing or you can actually install it from a wordpress dashboard itself so having said that having done away with hosting and everything else to do then go over to um, your c panel i'll close most of these so we don't get lost and i'll drag this put it over here web hosting we don't need that so having done that go over to your cpanel and install wordpress and all i do is to go to this app so i go to the app here and install wordpress from there right you can you can search for it or find it somehow and this time i'm going to use the main domain this domain is for tests and things like that um, I'll hide this. Okay, so I'm gonna leave everything as it is, and then I will choose the themes later and install this. I'll close that. So it doesn't take long and it installs really quickly. Remember, you don't wanna spend time on techie things if you don't understand what this is uh, you can ask somebody to do it for you but otherwise this is pretty simple you can actually follow so you can go to, to 
to the WordPress dashboard. Here we are. And first things first, we are going to install. We've installed WordPress, which is great. Now we are going to install the theme. So we go back to we go to, to appearance themes. And it's best practice to delete themes that are not actually working and leave one base theme. So you just delete those. That's recommended within the site. Um, site site health too so you leave one base theme and you search for something else so you go back to add a new theme and you can look for colors there he is right it's pretty lightweight it has templates so you don't have to start from scratch and it's pretty pretty it's really nice it's really amazing so this theme i've used it and you can count on it so having installed that and activated then we go over to plugins and we are going to install quite a few plugins and i will go over them quickly so we will install woocommerce firstly so i'm going to delete these we probably won't need them for this tutorial So I'm going to add um, WooCommerce. So let's install all the plugins that we need. So WooCommerce, there he is. It's taking a little bit of time. So the next plugin we installed is Stripe for WooCommerce. Again, there are just about one, two, three, four, five, six plugins that we will require for this to work. So we do have Stripe for WooCommerce. So let's not worry about these for now. So we will come back to setting up these. So let's remain on the dashboard. And then Stripe for WooCommerce. So Stripe for WooCommerce, right? Um, actually, it's called WooCommerce Stripe get, uh, Payment Gateway. There are many, but this is what we're looking for. It's by WooCommerce. And it's the new one. So then we activate that. Good. And next is WooCommerce payments for PayPal. Now you can get most of these by just um, creating a WooCommerce account, but I prefer to install them differently because, you know, I can work them out easier that way. So then WooCommerce payments for PayPal. So WooCommerce PayPal payments. The other plugin that we will require is templates for cadence. So that's um I can just type cadence. Starter templates, and that's by cadence. And next, remember what we are building is going to look like this. So you will in a minute see some of the templates that we have. So the next plugin that we will use is Printful. So, and that's by Printful, that's easy to spot. And the next plugin, which actually comes with, but I'll just install it right now, it comes with the template, is Elementor. So, sorry, I'm supposed to add a new one. Website Builder, so.
So no need to create an account at the moment because we are going to continue using the free version of this plugin. So right, so we've done installed all the plugins that we require for our store to work properly. So now we're going to set a few more things up and that includes WooCommerce. Um, we are going to get an account for Printful. Uh, we are going to set up shipping rates, setting up Stripe payment, uh, Gateway, then we will set up a printful payment method and also import a site template, which is really exciting. So let's go over to WooCommerce and go to settings. Now, what we want here is ideally to add all the information as it's supposed to be on this page. So I'm not going to add so much because, again, um, this is just an example, but I will try to add something. So after that, and after you've changed everything according to your country, then save changes. And remember to change uh, the currency. Then go over to shipping. And you can check, you know, go over to printful shipping. So you kind of enable this, right? Enable this shipping method, right? Because that helps you to enable Printful as a shipping method. So you don't depend on WooCommerce shipping terms and everything else. So you save that. And then you go over to payments. And all you gotta do here is to just make sure that your, um, your, of course that's WooCommerce payments, we didn't get that. But you just wanna make sure your Stripe, cause Stripe has so many other payment gateways and you can connect your Stripe account here. Um, it's quite easy and you can get all the directions from Stripe on how to do that. I'm not gonna go into that, but that's pretty, pretty easy to do. So you can click connect your account and it will take you straight to where you're supposed to go. Right, so let's continue to payments. We've turned on Stripe, um, where it didn't, you know, it needs set up, but we're not gonna do that in this tutorial. Setting up is pretty easy. Anyways, I'll do it. So we, we get that out of the way. Create or connect. And of course, mine is going to say it's already connected because you can see it shows um, other businesses that we have. So um, it's already set up and all I have to do is to say connect. But ideally, all you gotta do to get a Stripe account is go to stripe i'm gonna hide this tab around here is to go to stripe.com and create yourself an account whether it's a business account or you're a sole you know sole trader you can create an account in just a little bit of time so when you come to stripe remember to also um make sure you complete this properly. So you add the following endpoint to your Stripe account. Again, Stripe will show you exactly what to do when you get there. And you can check out, you can just Google how to add um, webhooks for Stripe. So that's pretty easy to do. And you can enable test mode whenever you wanna test this, you can come back and enable test mode. So this is pretty easy to do, and all of this is easy stuff. And I'll click Save Changes. Fortunately, because of time, we can't go through everything. So then we go back to Payments. And now we want to enable something else, and that's PayPal, right? Some people prefer to do PayPal for some reason. And when you come to PayPal, it you know, you can activate it here. You know, you can see all of those other things and it will ask you to activate there. So again, that's pretty easy. You can follow the guidelines. You can check, 
you know, their website and they will show you exactly what to do. But I'm just showing you the most important points or places where you got to pay attention. Uh, next place to really, really be keen is advanced. So you go to advanced for a second. Um, do we have anything to do in here? Yes, we go to REST API. And here you want to... Um, we will first leave that for a second and we will come back to it. So let's go get a printful, printful account. Now I'll open that in incognito because I already have a printful account, right? And all you, but I, I'm not gonna go into that anyway so we don't spend much time here. But all you have to do is to come to printful.com depending on where you are of course it will add uk because this is where we are and of course you can see this is um my sort of printful account and all you have to do is to just say look you go to printful remember we're coming back to that rest api so once you say connect it will now connect, you know, to the store where you, uh, you, the store that you just opened up. If it's in the same tab, it will just connect the store, right? And you can see it says, do you want to continue? And I say yes, because that's my account. So, brilliant, that's done, right? Confirm. It says product data is being synced, which is fine. So having done that, I've, I've set up most of the things within Printful, but I'm going to just show you a few things that you might need to pay attention to in order to complete your store really, really well, right? And um, next thing we're going to do is, let's have a look at what's here. There is my blog and this. So this is my Marvel brand, exactly what I just showed you here, which is connected to this account. And we've also got um, my blog, which is the website that we are working on at the moment. And what we want to do within Printful after setting it up is to come to settings and go to shipping, right? That's very, very important because you want to get uh, these correctly so that your customers don't get um, lost somehow or they don't get their products late delayed without you know their you know we, we, without a proper kind of understanding so you come and if this is ticked you know flat rate shipping because you don't want to offer flat rates otherwise wherever you're shipping to it will offer the same shipping cost so you, you want to tick those off right or you want to make sure to double check to make sure that they are blanked out and then you just, you don't have to save anyway, but that's a very, very important point to check. And of course, um, when you want to create, you know, to add to add other things, you can add them here. Uh, for example, you can add product templates, you just create, and we are going to go into all of that. So those are very, very important checks that we have made, right? So. Let's now import a site template to our new website. So we don't need uh, all of these anymore. So let's import a template to our new website, right? So if you remember your username and your password, that's very, very important. So all you got to do is to come to um, appearance and go to starter templates. Right, so you can see them over there. Appearance and then start a template. And you choose Elementor because that's what we have. If, you, if you're very good at use, using Gutenberg, then that's something else you can actually choose. But I choose Elementor because that's what I want to use. And you basically want to look out for any shops or 
you know, any kind of templates that have shops, which you can use. Now, this is the one that I have used. So we are going to use that. And we can choose the kind of colors that we want. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose this. And, you know, that's the color scheme. And you can choose whichever color scheme you want, really. And of course, font families, you can choose um, something like that, right? And then, of course, they show you all the, you know, required plugins. We have WooCommerce, we have um, Elementor. They haven't installed Fluent Forms, but they will once we import. Now, what we want to do, and I'm going to drag this away from here so we can see exactly where we are. Oh, it's not, it's not allowing me to drag it for some reason. Okay, that's not going to work. So ideally in this corner is a button that says import full site. So you want to click on that blue button that says import the full site. Now you may not be seeing the timer, but it's kind of getting in my way of me clicking uh, what I'm supposed to click. So of course I've got to accept that and I've got to make sure that this email is correct. Import details. Uh, they just show you exactly what they're doing and then you just say start import. It takes only a few seconds and it's done. It's pretty quick, uh, but it's very helpful. So you don't have to start over building everything from scratch. Right. So while that's importing, we are going to come back to that, right? So while that imports, let's go over to Canva and create our first product. In the meantime, right? Let's say you go to canva.com and I like to use, uh, now this, this is something that I'm going to caution you. Try to use, let's say you create a design. Let's, let's just say custom. Try to use dimensions as as much as these and the reason i will show you is i'll show you the reason later but try to use uh, bigger or higher dimensions so you know bigger sizes so you don't have problems when you resize the image uh, when you especially when you're going to print for to create the templates here the moment you start to resize it loses the quality especially if it's a small um, if, if it's a small design. So having done that, you can search for templates or you can create your own design depending on what you want, right? And I already have my work that's been created. If you look around here, uh, these are things that we have already created that you, you know, you can also come up with a few different things for yourself. Um, something like this. Right, so if I decide to search for templates, I'm sure I can find something similar. You know, life happens, coffee helps. Right, that sounds really cool, right? And you can change whatever you want to change within. Unfortunately, this doesn't edit the fonts because it's already blanked out. I mean, it's already, um, it's, it's just a block. So I can decide to uh, probably use one, something like this. And I say, maybe life happens. And I can say, coffee helps, right? And I probably can bring in some coffee beans just to make sure. Um, I can grab some coffees from the element. Now, something like this, maybe, but I'm sure you can create something better, you know. I just don't want us to spend a lot of time uh, 
creating these so we have enough time to actually you know set up things because this is just meant to show you how easy it is now i know people like to you know it's not recommended to you know stretch these but i prefer to stretch it within canva rather than stretching it on the other side you know because what happens is you take this design and the moment you begin to stretch it it loses the you know it loses the quality so you better you're better off creating something that is a, a little bit bigger um right now so later you don't have any problem so having created our design in canva let's check on our template that actually imported now it says an error for some reason i'm not sure why but that's happened to me before so i'm going to go back and actually import the same template so there is a print shop and we selected this color scheme and yes so we just want the full site and we will delete previously imported posts and images so start the import so while that completes let's go back to our canva right so we've created this and now we are going to download to download it and add it to uh, a design or a template a product template within um you know within printful right so that's pretty easy so exactly what we're going to do now one thing you've got to pay attention to is you know all of the other things of nice and easy but i you know i encourage you to download png and of course transparent background it doesn't matter if you're printing on a white shirt and the reason is there are different shades of white so sometimes you may never know what's the difference between this and the shirt that you're going to print out so always take a, a transparent background because it will help you to stay safer so download that and it's you know it's titled life happens so we're going to find that so let's, let's check our template that has so it says it's finished and it's telling us to view the site so we'll have a look and there we are let's have a look at the show um i think products are still populating but we don't seem to have any products yet let's have a look at some of the pages so let's go back to the dashboard and have a look at what's happening so we have some pages there and my account unfortunately we don't have the home page this time so which is quite something else so i'm going to have to go back to the starter templates and re-import this because i know it happens it could happen to you but just keep re-importing it until you get exactly what you're looking for right Again, you can look at some import details and advanced if you want. Then you start your import. Now, while that finishes, again, let's 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 let that finish, and then we'll continue so we don't have to run back and forth. okay so that's finished importing and this time we have a home page that looks exactly like my marvel brand something that you know we are trying to copy actually uh, yeah so it looks exactly and we can change all of these elementor is quite easy i'm sure that most of you that are watching this video already know how to uh, use a page builder it's really easy so what we're gonna do is to delete all these products and then add our own product so we go back to the dashboard right there 
and then we head over to to products and then we will delete all of these products because we don't need them right they are not part of what we are selling Okay, so having done that, so we are going to import our first product into our new shop, right? And of course, um, you know, we will go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, finish off the rest of the things in the last bits of this tutorial, right? We'll go ahead and finish off the rest of the pages. But for now, let's actually create our first product. Now, these are products that I've created for another store, like I mentioned here. So what we've got to do is to add a new one. And there is a particular type of design that I really like within. So I go to all shirts and you can choose whatever type of shirt that you want or hoodie, depending on, or mug. It doesn't really matter what you want. I like this shirt because it's really cotton and it's basically nice. I just, I just like it. And I'm sure that you can, you will probably like something else. Now, looking at the design that we created, this design suits a white shirt, right? Because the words are in black, so we can put it on a white shirt. And you can create a version. If you want to create a version for, um, let's say, a black shirt, all you have to do is to duplicate that and change the colors of these, change the color of that, to white as well and this design can now go on to white right it can go on to black okay so all you gotta do is to remove the background anyhow so we're working with this right so we have downloaded it now I'm going to show you a little bit of a problem something that happens when you upload these and of course we want to use DTG because we want our design to be in the middle of the shirt and if you choose embroidery you will notice that it puts you know it gives you a little print over there but we want DTG and we want the color to be white color of the shirt and we untick this black so then we will choose a design and I'm going to show you something a little interesting so we'll upload a new file and it's called life happens if you remember there we go starting to import there okay so it's still importing um, and it will stop winding the moment it stops Took a while. It's taking a little while longer to actually import. right so that's uploaded so all i gotta do is to click apply and according to what you will see the design has been added to the shirt right 
there you go so it's saying it's a PNG and you can watch this side you can see that um, it has semi-transparent elements and it's saying this is 187 okay now for some reason that's saying you know something about it's saying it's average so probably this design is not going to work for us for some reason because of this cup of coffee that i chose again that's something you gotta be careful with when designing using um, elements within here so i'm going to change that to a solid color and yeah that's white that can go on a white so i will download that as a png and of course it's the first one so download that and i'll go back to printful i'll delete my previous and upload a new one again when you come back here you will see that it's still there so you delete it and upload a new one. Life happens. That's the one we chose. Winds for a little bit. Yes, that's done and good to go. So you can see that it's now. So the problem was actually the icon or the element that we chose. Now you can see that it's about 167. And remember, uh, Printful um, almost disqualifies anything that goes below 150. So what you gotta do is the reason i asked you to choose uh to use bigger dimensions when creating design um as 2000 by 2000 is because when you come to printful sometimes the design is so small so if you want to stretch it you can see that it goes below 150. now it might say good but the the printout will not look as nice right so all you gotta do is to make sure you're above 150 in order to remain in good place, right? Now, let's say you download something that still doesn't look very nice, right? What can you do to make it look better? So all you can do, I'll, I'll show you something that you can do uh, to make it look a little easier, right? To make it look a lot nicer. You can go to a website called Convert dot town right and how you i'll leave all these links in the description and you can upload the image that you downloaded from canva right and of course you know before you upload it sorry you can choose um which kind of dots per inch you actually want the image to to be right so in other words it helps you to retain the quality of the image so i'll choose 400 and i will get that image again the moment you upload it download straight away so i come back over to printful and choose another one i'm just going to show you the difference between these and you can see it's got 400 so that's the one we actually chose right and i'm going to apply this design and it's actually inside the other so bit of um, now you can see that that says 400 so when you begin to stretch it you know it kind of reduces so again that's about 184 which is quite good quite much better uh, so again no matter how you stretch it you still retain the quality that's actually acceptable uh, by printful so which is really great so if you really want to stretch an image and if for example you download some stuff and it doesn't really work well um you know with regards to print quality then you gotta come over to uh, convert.town and basically improve the image uh, from there right so that's pretty easy and after you've uploaded that then you just go over to um, there so you continue and then you name the shot i like to name it using the name or the words first the words on the shot 
and that's maybe motivational unisex and then I'll leave it at that so and then I will save that to template now having saved that to template um, what do I do right so uh, we've done the design we've added the design to printful now let's go over to add it to the website so all we gotta do is to add it to the store and you know you can choose which store depending on how many you have right for some reason it's not okay that worked so you choose which color of course it's white i like to select all sizes unless you have a reason not to and then you click continue and once you click that you go to mockups now some of their mockups are not really don't look that fancy in fact they have a defined number so if you want to get better mockups you can always go to um, you can go to uh, now place it and you can pay some some bits just to get you know good mockups downloaded and i'll show you some of my drafts that we we have in here so these are some of the, the ones that we've created right so if i want to create a mockup all i gotta do is to let's say find a shot I like lifestyle lifestyle images as opposed to these because somebody can see themselves you know using these shot and you know it's it makes it easier right so what I do is go over there and then I insert my image now that says 750 by 1200 I can upload anything else I think it will be accepted let's try one of these let's just give it a try and it's telling me to crop it uh, yeah it's way down there but you can actually let's have a let's see if we can actually resize For some reason, I'm going to raise it a little bit higher around the shot there. So and then I'll crop. So it's again, ideally you want it up here, but this is just an example. So instead of using the other mockup, you can so for example, when you go to printful, you know, you will choose these because you have to choose something, right? But when you get to the website, you can choose something else if you like. You can add your own mockup, and again, you can name this again motivational, depending on the kind of category. And then you've got you know benefits of on-demand uh, manufacturing. This product is made easily. It's made especially for you as soon as you place the order. I like to add this note for some reason. I like it you can read through if you don't like it don't add it and of course here you will be able to choose what type of category that you want this is not a mug it's a shirt and there we go and then you now go to the revenue now one important thing about the revenue is you can see the kind of profit that you are making and this is the retail price so what you want to do is to set and you want that to be in dollars if possible so you can say well estimate if you want to get five um, five bucks of every order or seven then you set it at that and everything will readjust itself and then you say complete so this product should actually be on your website right now so we've got to view the store right now I will close all of these. We don't want them anymore. But we don't want that. So one of my products should be here. And if I go to view products, let's have a look. 
that's not linked yet because we haven't yet linked it but one url you can count on is show because that's where the show is unfortunately we can't see the products there either so let's have a look at where we can see the products because we haven't yet customized our shop so let's go to all products and there we have our product there right and if you click to view it you will see um, life happens so that's the design and what I say to you is you can change this mock-up with this you can replace you know exchange them uh, so all you have to do is to download this one and it will tell you when it's ready so what you want to do is to come over here edit this product and change the product image let's have a look if that's finished that's finished yes and you want to come over here and change the product image remove product image set product image life happens and these are pngs but you can convert it to um, jpg because that's uh, more friendly for your website so again that's almost done so let's just give it a few few more seconds okay that's done so set product image and there you go so now when you view the product there you will see some reason it doesn't seem to have changed but uh, I will try to refresh it did I save? No, I didn't save. So let's edit the product again and remove this. And that's the problem. Always make sure you save your work so, so you don't lose it. Product image, set product image. It's already uploaded to the media library. And I'll set that image there. It's there. So update. Remember to update. The description from Printful is usually okay to use, so you can leave it the way it is. And once I view the product, I will now see a nice mock-up that actually somebody can, you know, see themselves wearing the shirt and they can buy this product. And of course, all the shipping, you know, you can see all of the other shipping options are available. So that's, that's pretty easy. That's, you know, most of the work is done. So the rest of the things that we have to do is to, um, you know, things like placing a test order and setting up your PayPal as a payment gateway. So those things that you can actually do on your own. So lastly, we are going to finish up the home page and the about us page because those are the most important pages. And of course, changing menus and um, creating a contact us page, adding new pages to the navigation, you know, creating policies, privacy policy, returns policy, very, very, very important. And all of those, for example, if you look at these, you can link all of these policies down there and you can remove all the options that you don't want from these pages. So all you got to do is to come back over to your dashboard there and you go to pages, right? And you will see your home page. Edit that with Elementor in a new tab. And you can begin to change the text and the headings and the images to whatever you want. So it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is to click and you know create made with you in in mind on here we can put the main url which is 
that.com slash the shop and you know we can populate all of these we can remove the kind of things that we don't want to do for example if we don't want to do all of the stuff below here then we just have to remove them and oops i think i removed something important which is basically the product the divider and there is also okay that's not too important so all of these why choose us and featured products so featured products appear here so those are the products that are actually on your store so if you go back here you can visit the website and you will you will most probably find one of the products no it's not showing but it should show there you know later on once you finish adding up everything and you can change this form and this is fluent forms but if you want to replace it with an elementor form you can except that this is actually free version of elementor so you won't be able to work with this you know with with the forms elementor forms and this is also a pro version if you're going to use it properly so i suggest you either get rid of this box you know you can just get rid of it and you can put something nice you can add text well, which is already there actually and you say use code uh, use code inspired inspired 100 now uh, check out you know something like that and you can set up that coupon code and that will work just fine so you can go ahead and customize everything but yourself it's pretty easy and you can come back and do the same for the other pages like the about us page and you can create an email for your business as well by going to um, to your to your c panel right so the other pages you can go over to the about us page which is really important edit in a new tab and you can edit all of this stuff to whatever you're liking if you don't like something just delete it you know if, if something is beyond what you can actually put here you can add custom images you can add um, a logo and if you want to create a logo so easily without wasting so much time you can head over to canva and just type logo right i like to use i like to use this um, logo just logo and you get a bunch of templates now depending on what you want or what you want to do you know you can just use any and you know you can decide to edit um uh, probably your business is called maybe mmb right and it's a photography business maybe um photography since 2021 or 2022 when you're watching this oops cleaned it away right and then you can just grab that and of course you want it transparent but one caution i always encourage you to stretch that logo to the end because eventually you're going to struggle putting it on your website so don't worry about the borders stretch it until just leave some space some decent space and then you can download that and you can play around with the colors before you think of downloading so probably you want to get a green you know blue whatever you call that color uh, you can download this 
it's the first one it's page one so that's why I type one there and of course I want to give it a transparent background as well and all I will do is to come over to the website and add myself a nice logo right I go to appearance customize and then I go over to the header logo and I'll remove this because it came with the theme I will upload files I like to name these you know name your images because it helps with your SEO right so maybe it's MMB business photography you know you're selling merchandise that's related to your photography business so there you go you know you can crop it crop the image and that's going to appear there and of course I like to use both and I can go back over there and just hope this doesn't come out of customizations okay I'll save that first and then I'll go over to um, to the header um, site identity so there you go you have these there so that's MMB um, what do you call that photography you know um, whatever your tagline is you can put it in there but you get this is just to give you an idea of what's possible and of course after that publish that so you don't lose those settings and head over to um, now what you want to do is to also change you know the your um, your menus so you go over to store menu you've got home shop about contact home shop about and contact so what I'm seeing there so probably you might want to go to your header and primary navigation select and I'll choose the store menu so it can appear there right so one tricky part that you want to take care of and, and of course save those changes is the footer right the footer sometimes has a few issues when it comes to changing what you want to change but you can see when i hover over it i've got icons which means i can click on them and just edit whatever i want to edit right so if i click on there it actually brings me the text and sometimes that's a navigation menu it's trying to tell me that's a nav menu uh, which means I'm not going to be able to access it here, right? So all I got to do is I have to go over to uh, uh, to menus and go to these widgets and be able to change their names or to remove whatever I want to remove. If I don't want this, then I just remove it. Um, if I want to remove discover, then I just have to come over there and remove it as simple as that right and then i can edit the social icons if i only have instagram which is really good for these designs then i remove the rest i remove facebook and leave only instagram okay so basically so that's generally how you get your store looking in order and looking amazing within limited time with limited resources without spending a fortune right so that's basically it and i hope this tutorial actually helped you 
uh, somehow to um, uh, to build you know your first print on demand store in the next you know in the next videos in this series I'm going to bring um, to talk to you about how you can actually you know promote these products you know promote your products and actually earn right I'm going to show you a few ideas on actually what works how do you optimize your product right you know uh, do you have to sell you know to add um, a number of colors or you can actually sell only a few so I'm going to be giving you a few more tips in the next videos like I said I started this project um, to help somebody from zero um, you know if you can follow the steps then somehow you will find yourself with the same results as you will see later I'm creating this I'm starting it from scratch so just to just to prove to you how it works and if you can follow the next parts of the series we are going to go through the challenges and the problems of setting up the ads and everything else just to make sure that we can actually spot what is the problem and how we can solve it so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I hope this helped and I hope you've been able to actually set yourself up and please see, check the links in the description to see all the links that we've talked about. And definitely keep an eye. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel. If you want financial freedom that's actually available to you, you just need an internet connection and a computer to actually get these things working, right? So then subscribe to this channel and click the notifications bell so you don't miss any videos that I produce on this channel. So thank you very much. My name is Nicholas again, and I will see you in the next video. Or tutorial or show bye bye